My name is Stacy Bukowskis, and my feature script is called The Ride. My uncle was a two-star general in the Air Force, and I don't think I ever reconciled how to love him while still holding on to my belief that war is never the answer to anything. And it's this struggle that drove me to create this story. The story of Benjamin and Mary Jane Crocker, a couple who've been married eight years. They fell in love despite the fact that Benjamin is a Harley-riding, hunting patriot and Mary Jane is a Gandhi-following Buddhist. They agree just to disagree uh, on these issues and it never really was a factor until they decide to have kids. And as the conversations begin about having children, the bickering starts. Uh, and that grows into arguments which escalate into explosions, and it's not long before they're talking about whether or not they really even want to stay married. This is when Jason, Ben's friend, invites him and Mary Jane to accompany he and his wife on a motorcycle ride to raise money for the children of the first responders who didn't survive the 9-11 attacks. As a last-ditch effort to save their marriage, they agree to go having no idea what they're going to encounter on this 900-mile ride. So there are a thousand motorcycles on this 900 miles through tiny towns in Pennsylvania and Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, and eventually into New York City. On the way, they encounter soldiers, both men and women, who have lost limbs, who've gotten divorced, who have PTSD, who've lost everything because they chose to serve their country. It really has an impact on Benjamin because he sees the sacrifice that war necessitates. And Mary Jane grows in compassion for those who have served. When they're in Washington, D.C., they hear that New York City has been locked down because of a terrorist threat. And that's where they're headed the following morning, so everybody is abuzz about whether or not they'll be able to finish the ride. Of course, this affects Washington, D.C. The National Guard is called in. People aren't allowed to be out. And in Washington, a couple of young Muslim boys are killed. College students uh, out to party hadn't heard about the lockdown. And it becomes clear very quickly that they were not terrorists, that they were just innocent college kids, which causes a lot of conversation and debate in the country, but especially among the people on the ride. The next morning, they drive through New Jersey, head through the Holland Tunnel, and are greeted by thousands on the other side. A few protesters, but mostly those supporting their efforts to raise money for these kids. They travel down 7th Avenue. Imagine the, the roar of a thousand motorcycles traveling down 7th Avenue in Manhattan to the memorial where the World Trade Center once stood. And as they stand in front of the memorial, it's clear that Benjamin has found a way to understand Mary Jane's point of view, and Mary Jane has found a way to own her patriotism without throwing away all of her values. The film ends back at home with Benjamin and Mary Jane decorating the nursery. Mary Jane's now six months pregnant, and the baby was obviously conceived on the ride. And as they decorate the nursery, Mary Jane's the one to hang the American flag. And Benjamin's the one to hang a poster of Gandhi on the new baby's wall. You know, I think it's time to talk about this in this country. I'm not the only one who's conflicted uh, inside uh, about values and beliefs. And I think that now that we have over a decade since 9-11 occurred, it's a good time to really start talking about this and understanding better uh, where we our heading as a country and how we all feel about it. And I've always felt that entertainment is the best way to start a conversation. So that's my film, The Ride.